Is he ready, the brother? Yeah, he's ready. Uh, are you ready? خلاص بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يري السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما بعد السيسة الإسلام ما لا بلاس يقول I just want to make something I used to do that before every discussion I will just summarize what happened and break it down I spoke to this guy who came to me he came to ex Muslim which is a lie clearly which is playing around he came he asked me we must have a nice discussion after he was exposed that he doesn't want another discussion, he was just coming there, lying against Islam, making up things about Islam and so on. The reason I'm doing this video, sometimes maybe you see me, or you see like Badam Mansour or Hashim, sometimes we are harsh with some people. And you think, no, Akhi, calm down a bit. You know, the reason being, Allah mentioned the Quran. Allah taught us to debate with knowledge, without any doubt, with, with a good manner, except those who transgressed. Those who transgressed, if they are tough and strong, be tough and strong with them. So that guy, the reason I was very tough with him, and I was not allowing him to lie more against Islam, the reason being because he was not seeking the truth. And this is the tactic of the Islam haters. They come to you claiming they want to seek the truth, and they have no criteria, you know, and they make up things about Islam. He lied against Islam, he lied against the Quran, and many things, yeah? And what they do, they have this tactic of uh, gun machine tactic. They bring many doubts for you to get confused. So every time you try to deal with one doubt, they bring another doubt, okay? That's why you have to keep, the, uh, stick to the main points. So the reason I was very harsh with him, tough, not allowing him to tell us life story because he was not seeking the truth. He was coming to cause confusion. And Alhamdulillah, the issue of savage in Islam, I've spoken about it, but that guy, coming claiming he left Islam. And he said he's waging war against Allah and his messenger. Then he asked me to be his friend. No contradiction. And he left against Islam. So sometimes you're gonna see me or see some brothers in the park being harsh with some people. The reason being because those people are, they're not seeking the truth. They're coming to cause confusion and to lie against Islam. And that is in the Quran. Allah said, وَلَا تُجَادِلُوا أَلَى الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا بِالَّتِي أَحْسَنْ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْهُمْ Do not debate with the people of the book except to that which is good. Some Muslims, they know just this verse. But there's another, carry on. Except those who transgressed among them. Sheikh Issa ibn Taymiyyah, Abdul Rahman al said, meaning if they transgress and try to be tough, be tough with them. You know? And this is the problem. Some Muslims say, hey, let him speak. No, if you let him speak, he's going to bring 1,000 doubts. So you have to stop him and speak and clarify the truth. Because yes, sometimes you can utilize him as a bridge to reach out to the other people. You know? Yes, Barakallah, my sister. To reach the other people and to clarify. So that guy was not interested. He said to me, he has the absolute truth. I said, how do you know? He said he has a personal experience. Any human being knows Personal experience is not absolute truth. It's, to you is the truth. But you cannot tell everyone, believe Islam is the truth because I saw Prophet Muhammad in the dream. That's why Islam doesn't teach us that. Islam teaches you to go give da'wah and utilize tangible, logical, rational, and uh, 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 what do you call it? Proofs to show Universal proofs to show what Islam is the truth and that what distinguish Islam from any religion. Christianity cannot do it. Judaism cannot do it. Atheism cannot do it. Hinduism cannot do it. Everyone they have personal experience. But not because I'm Muslim, I'm saying that. I study these religions and these ideas and these philosoph philosophical ideologies. The only religion that can stand by itself and support itself is Islam. Alhamdulillah. I had to explain that because sometimes our brother, some brothers and sisters, they say, look, Akhi, mashallah, you calm, try to be calm. Yes, no doubt. I need to work on myself. There is no doubt about that, you know. But some of those guys, you have to be tough with them because they are the transgressors who are coming to lie and spread the lie against Islam. Alhamdulillah, he made, he embarrassed himself. Yeah, he, he, said, he, he lied. The issue of Aisha's marriage, he cannot tell us objectively what is wrong. You know, and many things, alhamdulillah. Save it, children, Islam. Look, 
what you have to understand, I will finish with this. Islam haters, they act as if they, they care about us. Yes? They say Prophet Muhammad killed. Okay, do you care, alayhi salatu salam? Do you care about people being killed? Why don't you speak about what Americans are doing in Iraq? Why don't you speak about what the, 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 the British did to, to Afghanistan or Americans? Why? The, even the British people are not Muslims, they speak against it. Why? You care about women? Yes. I watched the commentary. Many women that work as a prostitute, they say they've been forced to. Because otherwise they cannot pay rent. You care about women? Prophet Muhammad, for the sake of argument, he was wrong. He was not wrong, without any doubt. Okay, you believe he was wrong? Okay, you care about women? Go help the women who've been oppressed. Why? Because they show you they don't care about women. They just want to lie against Islam. May Allah bless you. If you have any question or correction, you're more than welcome to ask or correct me. May Allah bless you, my brothers and sisters. I think it's better to ask some Islamic questions from them. From them, these kind of people, you will get to know whether they are really Muslim or not. Mashallah, good one. That's true. Because yeah. one of them asked him, one of them asked him, I said, yeah. were you ex-Muslim? He said, yes. I said, are you ex-Muslim? He said, yes. I said, you were Muslim? He said, yes. I said, did you, did you study Islam? Because some of them, they maybe they never knew about Islam. I said, did you study Islam? He said, yes. I said, what is the tashahud and the salat? He said, what is this? I said, oh, come. Do you know why you're doing that? Because they see non-Muslims accepting Islam in the park. Life. You know, people accepting Islam live here. They cannot take it. So what they're doing, they're creating false information, lies. They bring someone, no one knows him. He said, yes, I was a Muslim and I'm a Christian now. That's why for 15 years I've been coming since 2005, I've been coming to the park. Of course, I've been giving dawah from 2010. So I've been coming to the park. I've never seen a Christian preacher speaking to atheists or a non-Christian. And then he says, you know what? It's true, Christianity makes sense. I'm going to become a Christian. Never. They always say, he's a Muslim, he became a Christian. Where? In dark room. They were never Muslim at the first Yeah, place. and they were never Muslims. <laughs> Alhamdulillah for Islam. May Allah keep us firm upon Islam. That's why we have to learn and study. So just to clarify that, sometimes you have to be strong and harsh with some people. And that's from wisdom. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And to get more videos, click on the bell button.